All right. So I know that Grant, um, he talked a lot in Zombie Panic, and everybody's heard the recordings about uh, Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> Blood and Honey. Like, they have quite a bit of content for that. But um, now so they're... knocking at my door. <laughs> so that we don't get a terrible movie, they're saying they're making Bambi horror movie as well and I this was my idea way back as a kid I watched Bambi and Fox and the Hound and I said okay these are way too similar and negative like full of horror so what if we made like not a horror version of them but just like an extreme cartoon that sort of makes fun of that and um, Peter and the Wolf and all those types of horribly aggressive cartoons that are fun you know, we all watch as kids, so then it's an exaggeration of all of those. Like, for example, like, you know, like Bambi, you know, it's like making fun of, like, niggers in the hood. Like, you know, Bambi's mother's all like, don't forget to, you know, take the secret route, you know, to the meadow school. So then he, like, comes out of his, like, under the tree trunk, you know, house. Uh, Den Hollow and like you know has to like you know there's like razor wire fences everywhere and like you know like bullets ricocheting as hunters like blow you know each other away and like random birds and like he's like dodging all over the place and like running along this trench while like you know um, all these like bear traps snap in all directions and stuff you know, that type of silly nonsense. And it's just the whole time it's like extreme, extremely overcharged. Like, you make fun of everything, even Horton. Um, I don't know. Yeah, like, when it's supposedly horror, it's like comedy horror. Like, come the fuck on. If you actually take yourselves that seriously, you really are man children. You might as well just take a Funko Pop. Dip it in, like, you know, whatever you, they call that stuff uh, that, you know, you put on your Ugh. lips. You know, Vaseline. And just cram it as far up your ass as humanly possible. Because you've got enough plastic and estrogen poisoning, if you're that big of a man-child, to actually think it should be serious. That I don't even know how you exist. Like, you should have already died of, like, being a tarred. And That's this is all i got to say. Yeah, and these are the type of comments we need to randomly happen in this <laughs> cartoon movie. What he just said. Yes, Wilbur Funko Pop and cram it up your ass. Yeah, whatever, That's yeah. That's what Bambi says to another deer. Yeah, um... See, it's funky because it makes your anus pop. Yeah, well, you see, I guess that makes sense because the deer, you know, they've been hanging around the edges of town, like, licking on their lollipops, if you know what I mean. I don't know. This... <laughs> I guess, yeah, add in some crass, interspecies, sexual-related humor. Um, come on, guys. Do this for me. Do it for Daddy. Like, I don't need to have all the ideas. Here's a dumb idea. Because you said that you wanted to mix them, then uh, it is mixed. And uh, it's like a, also like a retarded, like, fake drama that's gay where... Uh, the Fox and the Hound, uh... You, oh, yeah. <laughs> you have, uh, the Fox banging Bambi, and then, you know, they're jealous, so then it's like a, a murder scheme, and they keep trying to set him up to lure him into Hunter's gunfire, and then almost getting killed themselves comedically, stupidly. Wait, the Hound wants to be banging the Fox, and instead the Fox is getting deer booty? Yeah, so then he's he keeps trying to lure Bambi, who's a piece of shit, yeah. into stupid situations. But he comedically jumps oh, out of yes. a million bear traps down a trail, like like it's American Ninja Warrior and shit. Yeah. He grabs onto a vine and swings over a bunch of crocodiles or something that all snap at him, like all this ridiculous yeah. bullshit, as if he set up like a course that'll murder him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, then Bambi grows right to be the biggest buck to ever be spent, and then, um, he, like, then the uh, hound's like, it was me the whole time, I'm, I'm your gay nemesis, Bambi, <laughs> yeah, it's perfect, because he's, like, you know, running the whole hunting game, you know, because the dogs, you know, they, they're, they're the ones, the apparently, because they're the evil dogs, yeah, I like this plot, they're the ones that are the, uh, what's ruining society, like, it's, you know, Inner city ghetto, yes. but but the the woods. The with, dogs have gone bad. Yeah. So then I guess at the end, um, 
I guess I'm making up the plot because you told me to. I, uh, so then the hound has, you know, the crazed bear, you know, that he unleashes upon Bambi, who then he, you know, epically fights him with his giant antlers, you know, and keeps goring the bear as it slashes him, and it's suddenly, like, rated, you know, R. Yeah. Super epic, and then you, like, flash to, like, you know, sh shots of, like, they, like, fight across the, like, waterfall area, so then you, like, see in the setting sun their outlines, like, slashing at each other, and, like, the water run red down the waterfall as they do damage to each other. But they're so mighty, their cuts instantly, you know, congeal. As you have that, that bamboo flute sound, you know, that... Yeah. <laughs> as, uh, you know, there's two bears, but, you know, beneath them, they're like, Hey, stop bleeding in our water! Yeah. I'm trying to get Sam in here! Yeah, right. Yeah, and then finally, um... You know, they're all straining, you know, muscularly against each other, bear and buck, and then... Finally, a random uh, hunter's bullet just comes in and just like you know, blasts the out one in one ear and out the other ear of uh, the bear, instantly killing it. You know, as you just you, some guy runs up as Bambi runs off and bounds off into the undergrowth, and he says, "Hooey! Look at this, Rick! We got ourselves a big one." <laughs> I do love me some bear, me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then there's the most, like, yeah, you gotta have the most random redneck, like, you know, weirdos who just, like, the whole movie long, there's just, like, this clan area in the middle of the woods that's just, like, full of these weirdos. And they, like, you know, you, you just don't go near that area, any of the animals, because those are instantly blasted and eaten. Yes, anything. 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 The retarded. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a, yeah. Making fun of the Appalachians. Yeah, so then they, they fight their way into the uh, the, the sc sniper scope of the Appalachia Hillbix. And then um, the bear's instantly blown away. And uh, that's that's the story, you know? <laughs> and, it's, uh, and did Bambi... The question is, did Bambi lure him there on purpose? No, Bambi's no. too retarded for He's that. too stupid as well, you know? He never learns. And then you have at the end of the movie, like, a black and white of, like, the events that transpired afterward. And it's like, the bears at the bottom of the stream didn't care about the violent, older, you know, giant black bear or whatever who was killed. However, they formed a coalition and you have, like, bears, like, around, like, a table with, like, not, like, around a table, but, like, yeah. different logs that have fallen over with, like, fish on them that they're, like, you know, flinging at each other, like, the you know, cross space. And uh, for the clearing, and it's like they they banded together because the humans had become you know too uh, <laughs> emboldened. And then in the middle of the night, the bears burned all their calves to the ground. It shows like shadow images of humans screaming and flaming around. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and then every well except for the humans because they're fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, I guess. And then uh, you know, Thumper is just Humper. Yeah, it's very just, obvious. He's just a sexual pervert. That yeah. He's trying to hump everything inside and gets the shit kicked out of him and flung into bushes every five seconds. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So he just comes in while Bambi's battling the deer and starts humping the deer's ass, you know. Or not the deer, I mean the bear's ass. That's his contribution. <laughs> <laughs> then the bear sits on him and he gets squashed. Exactly. I don't know. Boy, this is retarded. Yeah. Yeah. It's what if I always you're thought make of. Trashy filth. If you're going to make pure garbage, yeah. then it has to be truly pointless, meaningless, overly aggressive in stupid ways, but still have a message that fuck somebody. So fuck the rednecks that eat fucking bears. You need that whole stupid, slow violin music that's epic. And then, you know, the fox and the hound all playing, you know, <laughs> jumping over logs. And then, like, a whirl of leaves go past the camera. Then suddenly, the fox is all, you know, got its legs up on the log. And it's all like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, stupid God. music. It's like, you know, gets its dick sucked by it's the so head. fucking bad. Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's better than anything they were gonna make. Yeah, right? So there was this random collection of single women living all together down in the valley near me back in the day. And they all went to a homeschool church and were supposedly all the same 
sisters, but they didn't look the same. They looked random ages. So I don't know what the hell that was, but they acted really weird and lesbian or something. And then also, I've had to deal with so many polygamists in my life, every direction, that I was thinking, um, for this stupid, you know, Bambi movie mockery, um, just a second. Just randomly switch over to the drama of, like, a pride of, like, mountain lions who randomly are like, no, we're traditional lions, we're doing it the African way, and they're like, you know, polygamists. Oh, God. But then, like, all yes, the... it's just a mockery of yeah. polygamists. And then, like, all of the women are, like, sneaking off, though, and they're, like, fucking the, uh...